Hi everybody, today on Rachel Cooks with Love, I'm gonna be showing you how I prepare my delicious potatoes au gratin using a combination of sweet potatoes and gold potatoes. It's a very easy dish to put together and I know you're gonna love it. So today I'm gonna show you how I make it, step by step. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start out by making my cheese sauce. I've got my heat set on medium. I have five tablespoons of butter and I'm gonna move them around until they melt really well, just like this. So now that my butter is nice and melted, I'm gonna add my onions. I have one third cup of finely chopped onions and I'm gonna move them around so they can release their flavor into the butter like this. So it's been about two minutes and my onions have released their flavor. Now I'm ready to add my garlic. I have two medium sized garlic cloves, finely minced and I'm gonna move them around for about 30 seconds because you don't want to burn your garlic. You just want it to release its flavor in here like this. Now that it smells beautiful in here, I'm gonna add my flour. I have four tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Now I'm gonna move it around gently like this because we want to cook this flour a little bit. We don't want raw flour in here. So my mixture is a beautiful light blonde, as you can see, and the flour is not raw anymore. Now I'm gonna add my milk. I have two and a half cups of whole milk. I'm gonna add a little bit at a time and continue whisking so that it's not lumpy. See, just like this. Now here's the rest of my milk and I'm gonna continue whisking until it comes up to a very light boil. Non-stop. Now as you continue whisking, you're gonna notice that it's slowly gonna start getting thicker and thicker. And that's what you want. So my mixture here is starting to come up to a light bubble. I'm gonna add my salt. I have about three fourths of a teaspoon of salt, but you can add as much as you want. And I'm gonna add one eighth of a teaspoon of ground nutmeg. This is gonna take it up a whole notch. Now I'm gonna add my pepper. You can add as much pepper as you want and continue whisking like this until it all comes in together. So now that it's all come in together beautifully like this, I'm gonna add my cheese. I have one cup of freshly grated sharp cheddar. This is white cheddar. And I'm gonna add a little bit at a time. And then I'm gonna whisk because you want for it to just melt beautifully, slowly. And here's the rest of the white cheddar. So now that my white sharp cheddar is nice and smooth and melted, I'm gonna add one cup of freshly grated Gruyere cheese. And I'm gonna add it a little bit at a time, just like I did the white cheddar. And I'm gonna continue whisking nonstop. Look at this, see? And that's exactly what we want. Now this would be a good time for you to taste it. So you can adjust it if you think it needs a little more salt. Oh my gosh, that is perfect. Now I'm going to replace my lid. I'm gonna move it out of the way. Now every so often, you do wanna come and give it a nice whisk so that it'll stay nice and smooth. Now we can move on to our next step. So I have my cheese sauce on the stove, ready to go nice and smooth. Now I'm gonna start out with my potatoes. I have four and a half pounds of potatoes here. Now it's a combination of the sweet potatoes and the gold potatoes. You can use any combination that you want. See, here they are. I've got them in water so they won't get dark. Now you can slice your potatoes either using a food processor, you can do it by hand using a knife, or you can use a mandolin. Now the mandolin is very simple, I think, but you have to be real careful because you can cut yourself, it's dangerous. Always have your little guard here. Now, I've got two plates right here and I've got wet paper towels, see? I'm gonna keep my sweet potato underneath covered with the wet paper towels so they won't get dark and dry up. And I'm gonna do the same over here with the gold potatoes. Now, you wanna hold your mandolin, you wanna hold your potato and just take your time. See how easy that is? And do it slowly so that you'll know when to start with your guard. And that's about right. Then I get the guard and I continue the process like this. And they'll be beautiful at the end. 
just do the best you can. Look at this. See? Look at how pretty they are. You want them to be about an eighth of an inch thick. You don't want them to get any thicker because the thicker they are, the longer they take to cook. Now I like to put them right here under the paper towels and then I do the same on the other plate with the sweet potatoes. Now I'm gonna continue the process until I have them all done. Very easy. Now I've got all my potatoes sliced and I've got them all covered with the wet paper towels so they won't get dark so quick. I'm gonna be using some nonstick spray, but you can use butter if you want or anything else that you'd rather use. I'm gonna be using this round dish. It's nine and a half inches round and it's about two and a half inches deep. Now I'm gonna spray this with my nonstick spray and I'm gonna start arranging my potatoes Hasselback style, standing up like this, see? Now, they may fall as you're doing it, but don't worry about it because once you go all the way around, they'll be standing real nice and tight next to their neighbor and they'll stay up. See, look at this. Doesn't that look pretty and colorful? Now I'm gonna sprinkle a little pepper right on top like this. And that's good. I have my cheese sauce right here. So I'm gonna put my cheese sauce on top like this. Oh, this is gonna be delicious. Look at that. I'm gonna move the potatoes around, make sure the cheese sauce just sinks in. Now I have my oven preheated to 375 degrees. I'm gonna cover this up really good with some aluminum foil. And then I'm gonna put it right on the center rack for about 45 minutes. Make sure that it's nice and sealed, just like that. So I'll see you in about 45 minutes. So it's been 45 minutes and I'm gonna remove the aluminum foil. They're nice and bubbly. I'm gonna put them back in the oven anywhere between 30 and 45 minutes more or until you can poke them with a fork and it goes in without any resistance. So I'll see you in a little bit. So my timer just went off. Now I'm just gonna top it with some cheese, lightly like this, and I'm gonna put them back in for about 15 minutes or just until the cheese melts really well and it looks beautiful and golden. So I'll put them back in for about 15 minutes. I'll give them about 10 minutes to cool down and then I'll let you see them. So I've given it about 15 minutes and now it's time for me to top it with my chives. Look at that. See how beautiful the color looks? Now imagine this on your Christmas table or any time of the year. So now it's time to serve. I like to pick up a little bit of both, the sweet potato and the gold potato. See, it'll look pretty on your plate. Oh, look at this. Beautiful. So now it's time for the taste test. You know, the combination of the gold potatoes and the sweet potatoes together with the cheese sauce is out of this world delicious. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I can't tell you enough. If there's one recipe you're gonna love, it's gonna be this one. Well, others too. Mmm. So these are my potatoes au gratin. If you like my recipe, give me a thumbs up, send me a comment and tell me what you think. And if you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you.